the fantasy football draft strikes again. No more bullshit. This is a Howard 100 News Brief. I'm Steve Warren. Tuesday's Stern Show Fantasy Football Draft has already erupted in some trash talking among the participants. Here's Shuley with Howard 100 News on your side. I lost to Will in the semifinals, so that was that was bitter. That was a tough pill to swallow. That's ESPN fantasy football guru Matthew Barry, and he's in the Stern Show Fantasy Football League yet again, ready to face his most bitter rival, Stern Show producer Will Murray. And even before the first pick was made, the shit-talking was up and running. I say it's luck, and everyone else says, no, it's actual skill. But, but let's compare this to if you know we were playing golf, and we essentially have the Tiger Woods of fantasy football in our league, Matthew Berry. You would think a guy with that kind of skill set would win the league every year, right? Because if it's all based on skill, the guy with the most skills has to be Berry. Yet, there is clearly some other issues involved in this. I'll merely say that Tiger Woods, the greatest golfer, in the history of the sport, and I'm not saying I'm Tiger Woods, but he's lost over 70% of the tournaments he's ever played in, and that's Tiger Woods. Listen, some breaks don't go your way. The fact of the matter is is that Will Murray has been in this league twice as long as I have, and we have the same number of titles, which is zero. Shuli Agar, Howard 100 News. Mitch, please. This is Howard 100 News. He's had to sell off some of his valuable Howard memorabilia, but Bobo still has his Stern Show shrine. John Lieberman reports on the problems involved in dismantling and reassembling the shrine during Bobo's recent move to Florida. It's uh, piece by piece, you know. I'm just getting the pictures on, unpacked because they're all in bubble wrap. So I, I've done that. Everything is good. Everything is accounted for in my boxes. And so I'm just taking them out and just um, trying to set up my uh, shrine in here, which would be a nice size room in here. I, I, I had over 106 boxes. Relationships abound among the Stern Show staff, so how's that Benji Elisa thing working out? Lisa G has this Howard 100 News follow up. It's the uncoupled couple. Yes. Stern Show writer Benji Bronk and his girlfriend Elisa Jordana can't seem to really break up. We're coupled or uncoupled, whatever you prefer. The two showed up recently to a red carpet event, even though Howard Stern told Elisa to make a clean break. We're obviously very good friends. I see him every day. and We're not broken up. Howard also told Elisa not to have sex with Benji. You're having sex again? Oral. Only oral. Because I said, I'm not going to have sex with you. I'm not going to have penetration with you until I feel like you like me. I love you. This is going to go on forever. I could tell. I'm running out of tape. (laughs) Gotta go. Benji says part of the problem is he's afraid. 